Welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario number two. The assassins who were after us are now getting chewed out by their boss for not assassin-ing us. I thought you were better, killers. We exist in the shadow, we're made out of shadow, shouldn't that be enough? Well, you have to actually kill them. As your punishment, I shall banish you to the Shadow Realm! Get so, just send us home? Uh, yes, go straight to your room! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot one of them speaks in Cro Magnon. <laughs> Uh, Peach has got to be so bored in there. Yeah. <laughs> she started slowly taking the crown and starting to, like, carve how many days she's been here in the wall. Well, looks like the computer wants to see us again. Yeah, alright, here we go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Begrudgingly, Peach goes, Hi, tech guy. Oh my god, the frame rate! That's me just pushing forward on the <laughs> control stick, just messing around. I love it. Any game Throwing I can do that dance. in. Oh yeah! Da -da -da, da -da -da. Hello, Peach. I saw you tap dancing. Will you dance with me? We already danced with her last time. So now he wants us to infiltrate. It's time for stealthy stealth. Doot, 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 doot. You go, Peach. Well, that doesn't make you perfect, then, does it? Sir Grotus. He's, like, the big bad guy, right? Yeah. He's the big bad guy du jour. He's gonna take up all the crystal stars and do something naughty with them. Take over the world. You know, I completely forgot what his name actually was. And I just thought we were going like, oh man, he's so grody. Actually, it's Grodu. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. is silent. F fancy. Alright, so what are we gonna ask this guy? I guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, right. Awesome. <laughs> she goes up to him, Please let me go! Really? That was the question? Well, we just can't uh, go up and ask Sir Grotus about, you know, just any old question. We're like, Hey, can we ask you a question? No, we, we gotta get into disguise. Really? Yeah, really. Am I actually gonna see Peach cosplay as an ex knot? Now, quick, use the silent takedown. Contextual button presses. Alright, uh, green, black, that's red, it's also red. Uh, oh, here we go. I hope you're not colorblind. <laughs> An oversight. I can tell you don't know too many colors because you're wearing that disgusting shade of pink. Empty. Aha! <laughs> yes, Queen. Let me see you in it. Well, let's go get changed! Hef, 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 hef. That can't be good. Hey, look at her! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good! <laughs> I don't know how she's moving in that thing, but she's pulling it off like a champ. 
Hello, she, sir! <laughs> she basically had to be, like, shoved into it. At least they have brakes on this evil intergalactic terrorist base. Anyway, sir, can I ask you a question? Can you let Princess Peach go? This would be a great moment if, you know, the Mario games had voice acting. Because imagine, you know, Princess Peach like, you know, Excuse me, sir! Uh, excuse me, sir! Can I ask you something? I was just thinking that, like, what if she's just really bad at like, disguising her voice and everything. And you're hearing this in the high-pitched falsetto right now. I, what do these x knots even sound like? Maybe they are high-pitched little gremlins. <laughs> they all sound like Peach. <laughs> How convenient! This is where Peach just... You know, pops out of the costume and is like, Do you know who I am? And starts blasting away, just... <laughs> Where did you find that rocket launcher, Peach? No questions! <laughs> and then the X-Nots were destroyed. Well, that didn't really tell us much. I thought that the, the evil X-Nots are gonna destroy the world and shit, so... No, oh, imagine that. I thought they were just gonna do their taxes and have a merry day. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> their ultimate world-ending plan. Having brunch after one o'clock! No! Wait. It's not brunch <laughs> after that! It's Wait. just an early dinner! <laughs> Those fiends! Damn, I was hoping there was an Easter egg in there. Walks out naked. Oh, oh oops. Oops! Anything else in these posters? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I thought there'd be like a poster or something in a locker or whatever. But, Metal Gear Solid, this is not. Are you saying I can't go into first person as Peach and kiss a poster? Not until Super Pippa Mario. Damn it. I was built for conquering the world. I am actually the leader. Yes, because I'm at the top of the social hierarchy! So it doesn't affect me! Wow, I never realized you were such a bitch. My empire is on the, is on the skulls and backbones of my people! Do you think there are theories out there that the reason Bowser keeps kidnapping Peach is because he wants to be the main ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom? There's a theory for everything. Oh, I know. There's a, th there's a theory for, you know, Mario being dead, Peach being dead, everybody being dead, nobody being dead. I hate those theories. I need, like, a theory that made me go, oh, okay, I, I could see that. I think the only, but, like, Nintendo theory when we're talking about things being dead, the only ones I can believe in are the Pokemon ones, because things actually die in that series. Yeah, but then they get... they get way too overblown. Pikachu secretly dead in Pokemon the first movie! Oh, come on. They died getting to the island. They drowned in the ocean. More like, there's there's a theory that Ash never came back to life after the end of the first movie! <laughs> this is why he's perpetually 11. He died to Mewtwo. Well, now we're done with Peach. Let's go over to... Oh, Jesus, the more Pikmin. <laughs> I keep forgetting where we stopped. Uh... Hey, oh, there he is. <laughs> I, I thought that was like Wario or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the nose for it. Why are you here for no reason? Now I'm thinking, Wario and Waluigi really don't 
show up in anything other than, like, party and cart and stuff, do they? Uh, Wario does his own stuff here and there, but Waluigi, it's, it's basically, you know, only when we're playing games. <laughs> He's the guy you invite when you need an eighth player. He's like, hey, dude, you busy? It's like, hey, Waluigi, do you want to go on adventure and say the princess? No way! Not a chance! Oh, well, uh, do you just want to play some solitaire? Absolutely! Yeah! See, he doesn't want to put in, like, any actual effort. He'll play the games, but it's just like, when it comes to, like, saving anybody, he's just like, yeah, too much effort. Need a Nintendo, like, management game, and he should be at the top of it. Ugly. Ugly. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Attack of the old bats! I'm older than you! Well, I'm older than you! And they start, like, very slowly having a slap fight. Hey! <laughs> hey. Yes, Bowser! Better not say that. <laughs> that wasn't his head. You're fucking old! I, I mean. Ooh. He, he just burned down the whole tree. He's fire. But there's a stream going through it. Well, it doesn't matter because Bowser was too late! Hey, uh, it's a me, Mario. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wahoo, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Is the old hag the writer of my immortal? <laughs> Paper Mario and the Avarice King. Uh, let, let's let's think of some more paper. Let's see. Um, hmm. Because we just got origami. You know, uh, this story really isn't going anywhere. It's kind of been just staying at one spot. I guess you could say the plot is stationary. <laughs> With the new writing letters mechanic. <laughs> to which everybody goes, letters? Is that like texting? Ah. I think the next Paper Mario is going to be a text-based adventure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it was in a first-person perspective, that'd be pretty dope. Forward. 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 Uh, forward. Everything's got to be like, you know, A, dash, and then whatever it is. <laughs> it's like, head left. I, I mean... Head a uh, left. Uh. You, you wake up in bed, being the 2D individual you are. What will you do? Jump. Cannot jump. Uh, wake up. Already done that. Uh, jump out of bed. Does not know how to jump out of bed. Leave bed. You stand up in your room. <laughs> quit game. Can doesn't know how to quit something. Did I tell you I actually made a game like that? Yes, you did. And but you know, but uh, might as well tell it here. Yeah, I was uh, I was thinking I was hot shit doing just a simple like a very simple text adventure. It was literally type in the code, so have the professor come over, see if it works, and he said, "Okay, go ahead and make your story, make a game, and I will come around and beta test it. The quicker I find an issue." The lower your grade will be. And it wasn't a grading system, so we did, like, points or something like that. And uh, within the first two text boxes, he uh, broke it. So, uh, yeah, game development's hard, in case you yes, didn't know. Yes, it is. I mean, the extent of my game developing ability has been, like, RPG Maker, 2000 to 2003. And I think a bit of XP, and that's about it. And that was hard, too, but not as hard as what you were doing. Well, 
Now that we're back in, uh, Rogue Port, we gotta do what we normally do. Go take the star to the Thousand Year Door, put the star in the thing, and then the thing will tell us where it is on the map, and then we'll go talk to Professor Franklin, he'll tell us where the fucking thing is on the map, and then we're gonna go fight it, we're gonna get another crystal star and save the princess some more! That sounds fascinating, having to backtrack every single time you get a star. Duh! Except, intrigue. What? Dearest Mara, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the Exonauts, they're planning to take control of the world! I kind of figured as much. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can, Princess Peach. Hmm. Ah! Oh my god, a shortcut! Hmm. All right, there. that's good design. Oh, wait. I, I can't. Wait. Something back there. Man, where to go first? So much down here. Let's start with Yoshi. Oh, yeah. nice. We get a shine sprite too. Well, isn't this just the coolest? Uh, what? To Twilight Town. Oh. We can't go down to Twilight Town. <laughs> Uh, first time for everything, Mario. Don't think I've ever been rejected by a pipe before, but... Let's do a little bit of ex more exploring down here. No? Well, okay. Well, I guess we won't do that. <laughs> the Yoshi rejected you. <laughs> God, can you imagine a depressing Mario game? Yeah, and I, I don't know, there's some... Certain oh, themes in uh, in Super Paper Mario, but it's just like he just gets bad depression, and the, uh, I'm just thinking like everything is against him, no matter so what. So what? So what? You want Eastern European Mario, Slovakian yeah. Mario, yeah, war torn Kosovo Mario? I mean, after all the Toads went off to war and there are none left. He just comes back and he just, you know, has the single tear rolling down his face. Valiant Hearts, Switch Edition. Now Mario gets to go through the horrors of World War I. Valiant Hearts is on the Switch, isn't it? I swear I it so. is. Oh, well, and, uh... You know, all of you lovely game theorists out there love to add some twists like that to Mario. So, why not just have him be depressed all the time to make Everything you have ever said validated. Huh? <laughs> that was a very nice hit. Very nice hit. Why do you think the pipe rejected him? Could it be a theory as to why he's actually dead? Because pipes normally take living beings, but him being a dead being, <laughs> the pipe rejects him. <laughs> but this is really, but really it rejected dumb shit. it rejected Yoshi too, and all the companions, which means <gasps> they're all dead too. <laughs> Paper Mario at the Thousand Year Door, kind of like the door to Hades, showing that Mario is dead. <laughs> Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Dead. I've been dead for a thousand years, and I have reawakened. Paper Dead, the Thousand Dead, <laughs> Dead, for the <laughs> Nintendo Dead Cube. Actually, you know what? Something that could honestly work if you wanted to go like this route of having a more serious Mario game. Why would you? <laughs> I don't know, it'd just be a little interesting. People have been complaining that, you know, Paper Mario hasn't been good since Thousand Year Door, which, yeah, whatever. But, uh, you know how Breath of the Wild kind of went for a semi-serious tone? And they did like, a pretty good job with it. Yeah, Link was gone for a hundred years and Ganon took over. Ganon won. Oh, no. Hey, is this the Pit of a Thousand Trials? That's the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Oh, hundred. <laughs> Excuse me. I think you should do it. Don't. I think you should do it. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on walking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It sounds like a blast. Oh, yeah, hey, we're here. A, as in, I blast my face off after I tried it for the third time. Ah! 
right. <clears throat> okay. The, the immediate nature of Mario's movements. It's just so quick, off and on. It's like, yeah! Blockbuster! Mario would be awesome at the wave. Yeah, all you gotta do is just uh, grip him by your two fingers and hold him in front of a fan. He'll do plenty of waves. <laughs> oh, Paper Mario Poster Boy! That's the <laughs> next one! <laughs> Hey, look at that. Ooh, it's a red star. Mmm. The star of vanity. Steal the sins of the human world, Mario. Paper Mario poster boy. You ever think we'll have a 3D printed Paper Mario? Yeah. Then wouldn't that just be the Mario and Luigi game? Well, there you go. Bridging the two worlds together. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? If you had... If we just went backwards, because the last uh, Mario and Luigi game... Yeah, the Mario and Luigi game that had Paper Mario in it? Mm -hmm. Flip-flop that. Have it start as a Paper Mario game, and you need help from 3D printed Mario. I think I just need a Super Smash Brothers, but for RPGs. Like, it starts out as a Paper Mario game, and then, uh, you know, Ooh. Titus from Final Fantasy X comes in. Bro, you are living my 11-year-old dream, okay? And then you're joined by Isaac from Golden Sun. <laughs> oh my god! It's so good! And then Ren from Persona 5 comes in. Yes! See, we just need to get all of the amazing Newgrounds Flash artists and create Chrono vs. Everybody again. Yeah, the and then I... Chrono comes in and then it turns out you've been playing a really weird Chrono Trigger spinoff. That'd be so cool, dude! By the way, that need for a serious Mario came on the heels of me re-watching Super Mario Bros. Z again. <laughs> You don't Melanie. want a more serious Mario Brothers, you just want Dragon Ball Mario. It's so cool. I can't believe that was made so long ago and it still holds up, and it's now in HD. Oh. So we already found the pipe to rope for. <laughs> you can't sequence break! Are you kidding? Well, well of course you can't, because if you could, well, that'd be... But uh, we gotta find a special item. That'll make the pipe unreject us. Oh, okay. I I was hoping they would mention something like, oh yeah, the pipe didn't want me. Oh ho! A new companion. Dang has a great name. Darkly. Okay, off well, to see Darkly. Gotta go find the Dark- Oop. Gotta get the email first. Hello, this is from Darkly. Oh, wow! Koopy-Koo, miss you. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get Aww. lonely, and I go into Koops' house, and I smell that Koops smell. I guess you're uh? your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I've gotten used to your smell, Koops. Oh, and the thing was, is your dad, Koopley, he has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad, too, someday I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Uh, oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending you a pic. Here you go. Love, Koopy Koo. Oh, oh that adorable. Koopy Koo's been dead since we left Koopa Town. Serious Mario time! My girl's waiting for me when I get back. I'm gonna get so. I'm gonna get so. <laughs> this is the first time Koops has ever been confident. It's just like, yeah, Mario, can we head back home? I need to, um. <clears throat> I forgot something at home. You well, know. I, I hate to give the shaft a flurry, but I gotta. I don't really use her in combat. Please never ever say give the shaft a flurry ever again. Well, I, I guess I could use her, but fuck her, I guess. God, my Google search is gonna be weird if I 
If I get curious enough, ah, fuck it. Dude, this game is... This game is from 2004. Of course there's porn of everybody here. Every single person. Every si Probably even that guy. Yeah, that Goomba is taking a dick somewhere on Pat Heel's server. <laughs> but how do Goombas take them? Their legs! That's oh, it! Oh, they find a way. Well, I, ah! guess do, I guess they do have a face, so... There's at least one thing. Alright, I gotta find this... Darkly fella. You know, if you come back here and I see Darkly playing basketball, it'd be Charles Darkly! I'm trying to get him to get some JPEGs on my computer, but I don't have the equipment for it. Anyway, the joke is a scanner darkly. <laughs> well, can't really get over there. I don't know why I'm trying. But it's like right there. It, it is right there, but oh. it's just not enough. Not enough. Come on! Yes! Hey! Oh my god! See, never give up and don't listen to me. And now you're stuck over here. You can never <laughs> no! return. No! It's one <laughs> pixel off! Oh, there's a star piece up there Ooh. I can't quite get. Yeah. Hmm. There's gotta be something we're missing here. It's gotta be! Oh, it's the side quest. But yeah, nope, nope, not there. <laughs> Screw side quests! You know those side quests are gonna have to be like, you know, go back to this first area! It's like, hey, oh, can yeah. you find this one item that you probably long sold by now and go get another one from... You know, take, you know, 35 minutes to do one thing and to get... Oh, great! Here is a mushroom! Uh, time to make a new clickbait series on my YouTube channel. Reasons why combat doesn't matter in the new Paper Marios because side quests suck! That's apparently the one thing in Origami King, just like Sticker Star, fighting is pointless. Except for coins. Have you played it? I mean, since we've uh, last did an episode, Origami King has come out. I like it! I'm, st I'm starting to think, from the time we did the last episode, I think it's been announced and has come out. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping like a, that lovely we track record intact. We recorded up to episode 18, then we took a two-month break. <laughs> and only just now are we getting back into things, so... Hey, hey, yeah. Don't you love timelines? Oh, yes. Whoa, you just phased through him! Wait a minute. Ah, well. So where is this Darkly fella? Where's Luigi, for that matter? Well, the only way to meet Darkly is to ha have a dark fate. Hang yourself on the noose. Oh, there's a noose right in town, so that's easy. Hmm. Don't have enough coins to really buy what I want. We'll come back later. But for now... Something off here. I knew it! Oh, that's so cool! Don't kick me. I'll kick you back. Hey, who Ooh. is that guy? Hello. It's Darkly. That actually sounds like... Well, like an, an evil character from Tekken. Darkly. <laughs> I mean, Street Fighter is the one who has the uh, the dark characters. Evil Ryu, Violent Ken. I think there's like a Shadow Chun Li. Evil Akuma. Dope. Even more evil Akuma. <laughs> <laughs> the the one that died to Asura, Akuma. 
slightly better Akuma. Oh, oh yeah, there is a dark Akuma, like with with the white hair and the black skin and all that. That that oh yeah, o o Oni or whatever is the the is. lore runs deep, my friend, of Street Fighter. I haven't played Street Fighter since Street Fighter Four, basically. Neither have I, but it just gets nut. It just gets more crazy. Like I yeah. think Cammy has an alter ego now. I mean, I see. Uh, I see Street Fighter Five for twenty bucks and Tekken Seven there as well. I'm like, hey, yep. Mm. And I ignore him. And you see Soul Calibur. Well, what are we on now? Six for cheap, and it's still getting updates and characters. And hey, there he is. Oh my God, it's a cherry bomb. Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Billy Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Luigi had wild, to bro. kill many people. Want to hear what happened? Yes. <laughs> Plump tell me, Belly Village. Tell me everything. <clears throat> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we Strudel? got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was strong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. He said he was his own daughter was going to be offered as a sacrifice to his beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all, do all dolled up. I was one of the sacrifice, bro. I looked so good in my full of foes no. and got into his lair. It was kind of no. rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Shifford really chafes, bro. I finally found his, uh, and the snake had a, a second head on his tail. I faded really quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up, fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I definitely launched left. Oh, he, his gaping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body oh, had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I learned somebody. I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair! I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching town, and somehow we managed to get back into Rogueport, and here I am. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I I'm just thinking, like... That's Jerry. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Did they think ahead and say, hey, if you play New Game Plus, you get to play those sections as Luigi, or no? So this guy saw Luigi, dress as a bride, and he wants to kill himself. Now... If I were the writers, wanting to have a good comedy punchline, this is where he would explode. And then just be gone. See, see, I'm okay with people wearing what they want to. I mean, it's 2000-whatever and everything, but uh, some people should just never, and Luigi should just <laughs> never. Yeah. People can do what they want, except Luigi. It's like, why? What's the, what's wrong with Luigi? What's, the, what, what's wrong with the way he did things? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, the... It didn't really round out throughout the midsection, and and the boils. Oh, the boils! <laughs> also, he wore it upside down, so it just it just didn't stay on. And, ah! and I, I don't even know how he did that. And this fooled the bad guy. Well, I mean, he didn't mention he was blind, so. Yeah, there's some to look for. Uh, type into Rule Thirty Four. Luigi dressed as a bride. I mean, All of, right, of course you're going to find Flurry's titties doing something terrible, but Luigi uh, as a bride? Huh, that's something to consider. That's, that's actually curious. I mean, who uh, knows? Let's see. Luigi bride. Now, let's just type that in, see what Google brings up. Hmm. <laughs> let's go to image search. <laughs> Handily, I take. <laughs> Oh, fan art on Twitter, so it can't be explicit. Of course. <laughs> Let me read that. Well, while you while you pull that up, <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna make our way to chapter oh four. My God. <laughs> yeah, chapter four. Four pigs. The bell tolls. Oh my God! We're gonna have a horror section. I think. I don't know. I screen capped that, by the way, and I'm going to send it to you. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween. Oh, wow. I wasn't too far off. That is a very 3D pig. It is a very 3D pig. Actually, it's near sunup. Hello. I am Edward. This is Jacob, my pig. Uh. Welcome to Twilight Town.
Okay. Ciao, Bella. No! Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. So every time the bell rings, somebody... Um... Well... Somebody, like, dies? Oh! Oh, cool! Turn into a low-poly pig. Oh! Uh-oh. He is missing part of his head. Now he's just very deeply in shadow. Some of us fell into an inkwell and, you know, just couldn't live the same after that, so we came here. Wow. Well, uh, don't worry, uh, Mr. Elder Mayor. By the time we're done, we're gonna make sure everything is just swine. <laughs> 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 You know, I'm just waiting for a situation where one guy, maybe darkly, just comes back to town and he doesn't remember, like, there was a curse going on and everything. So he pulls, like, a Homer's Odyssey, comes back and just eats all his pigs. <laughs> and then the elder comes out and is like, What the fuck? What did you do? I pigged out. <laughs> Damn it. Higgified. No. no. Everything's just all crazy here. Everything is not. It's an absolute chaos. Everything's all higgledy piggledy. Yeah, fucking. Is this really the power of this current crystal star? Like turning people into pigs? Mm. Like it's just like, oh hey, I got the fourth or fifth. I can't remember what crystal star we're on. Haha, you're a pig. Poof, poof. Just a bunch of pigs. Well, it sounds to me like the Crystal Star uh, only really gets used when you know how to use them. But uh, well, there's a lot of, a lot of mystery in this uh, deep, scary, dark-looking, oh, evil love town it. with pigs. And oh, look at those crows. That. We'll take a deeper look, a deeper oh. dive into Twilight Town next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Hey, do you think if a family of sleeping people in this town gets turned into pigs, they'd be pigs in a blanket? Oink, oink.